Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to a man getting bitten by a snapping turtle. Now, this should be fun. This guy, I think his name is Bray Wilderness. Maybe that's not his name, but it's the name of his channel. Probably one of my favorite nature related channels on YouTube. He does the craziest stuff. Uh, recently, I reacted to him like I'm doing the world's most dangerous job. I think it was like milking snakes for like their venom. Absolutely just... He almost got bit at least 50 times in that video. It's insane. This one here, snapping turtles. I didn't realize quite how, you know, sharp and snappy their bites are. But I guess the clue's in the name, right? Snapping turtle. So yeah, this one, uh, this video, I'm sure it's going to be entertaining. So let's do it. Okay, you guys ready? I'm ready. You're ready. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the chomp zone with the common the snapping size turtle. One. Two, three. Oh, careful, man. Ah! I'm on edge already. For several years, I have been on a mission to find and catch a world record sized snapping turtle. Throughout the process, I've encountered many of these elusive reptiles. And to do so, I usually have to jump from a kayak and into water over my head. Wow. This is he one really of the most dangerous aspects of my job. And trust me when I say that I always try my best to avoid being bitten. But try as I might, when you work with this many turtles, accidental bites do occasionally happen. The I can't believe how big they are, man. Like turtles, I'm used to like seeing little tiny turtles that fit in your hand. This turtle just bit the top of my thumb off. Oh. And boy, can they be painful. Ah. 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 That's what you get for climbing in a cage with a bunch of turtles. Then there are the intentional bites. And I think Ooh. we all remember the episode where I was chomped by the alligator snapping turtle. The ultimate goal was to show you what happens this when a snapping nuts. turtle locks its jaws ah. around a victim. Oh! Oh, jeez! Ah! He's through, he's through, he's through into my arm. Unfortunately for me, the giant reptile just decided to chomp on my arm until its beak pierced the brace, ultimately bringing the scene to an end. Okay, turtle can take a break. It was one painful experiment Ooh. that didn't exactly go according to plan. Ooh. Actually pierced his skin. Through social media, I recently- Is he gonna need to get like a tetanus shot or anything like that? We asked the coyote pack, would you like to see me chomped by a common snapping turtle? Oh, ooh, that hurt, but it didn't draw blood. I wonder what a larger turtle would do. You guys wanna see me chomped by the common snapping turtle? Well, a whopping 95% of you said, yes, get chomped. Oh, how quick. So today I'm going to do just that and demonstrate what so happens fast. if you ever get your hand locked in the jaws of a snapping turtle. Now, I know you're watching this video and you're thinking, Coyote, this is absolutely crazy. This turtle is going to bite off your finger. It's going to bite off your hand. It's going to cause so much damage. You'll have to go to the hospital. We have thought about this in advance and we actually have some safety precautions in place to make sure that that turtle does not take a chunk out of my hand. We purchased these dowel rods. What I'm gonna do is cut a section of the wood and then glue it to the side of my hand so that when the turtle bites down, my hand will it be sideways and it's going to strike out, whap, and latch on. Now, the beak is going to pierce the top and the bottom side of my hand, but what I'm really worried about is the scissor power of those jaws, and that's why a snapping turtle bite can be so bad. Their jaws are razor sharp, lined with that beak. Yeah, you can see, like, it's almost like a sharpened bit of, of bone, like, right on the edge there. As they bite down, the beak cuts through the skin. Now, what the wood will do is create a barrier between the turtle's beak and its ability to scissor all the way through my hand and take out a triangle-shaped chunk. 
I know you're probably thinking to yourselves, well, it's still gonna bite you, it's still gonna <laughs> hurt. Yes, it absolutely is. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully the turtle holds on the first time so I don't have to be bitten more than once. Now, once the turtle bites me, I will show you how to get a snapping turtle off. And there are a couple of methods you can use. The first one, is water bottles. Simply dumping water onto the turtle's face, in its mouth, and on its eyes should make it feel as if it's back into its natural environment, which would be the water, and it will let go and try to get away. Now, if the water bottle method doesn't work, what you can do is completely submerge the turtle in water. If this does not work, the last resort is rubbing alcohol. Now this is something that I've seen a number of different people use when they've been bitten by snakes or alligators and it's not going to hurt the animal in any way but it's just kind of a sharp pungent taste in its mouth and it should force it to ah, let go of my hand and then hopefully I'll be able to show you guys how to take care of that bite with some first aid. And if none of those work... I gotta hand it to this guy, he really loves what he does, you know, like who would willingly want to get bitten by a snapping turtle or an alligator or something like that? But this guy, he puts himself out there. We just have to wait. Yes, that is the worst case scenario. If it doesn't let go from one of these methods, I will have to sit there, bite my tongue in pain, and hope that eventually this turtle loses interest in my hand from being angry at me for letting it bite my hand, and then it lets go. Oh boy. We are seconds away from me being chomped by the common snapping turtle. I'm definitely nervous right now. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> Just imagine that beak piercing through my skin. And if it bites and it holds on, whoo, it is going to be incredibly wow, painful. The way its eyes open it's like It's not a small turtle. Sideways. It's about 10 pounds in size. And it is going to crunch my hand. Oh boy. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. It now coming across a common snapping fast. turtle of this size isn't super rare, but oftentimes I catch turtles that are significantly larger than this. A turtle larger than this would definitely do a massive amount of damage to my hand. Camera two, camera three are rolling. Coyote, your GoPro is rolling. This right. is crazy, this is crazy, this is crazy. Oh my goodness, you're actually doing this. Yeah, well, let's see what happens, right? I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the chomp zone with the common snapping turtle. Are you ready? Let's do this. One, two, three. Oh. Ah, he missed the wood! Onto my hand. Oh my ah! god. Ah! It's right in his hand. Oh, he's ripping the side of my hand. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not gonna touch the turtle. He missed the wood. This is bad. That wood has done nothing. Nothing. He's ah! Oh! Mario, give me a bottle of water. And you can see the turtle beak has pierced through the top of my hand. And it Bruh, is latched forget into about the skin. The he's got water. his eyes closed, jaws Put the alcohol. in place. Just lightly strip that onto the top of his head. Ah, 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 ah. He's biting down harder. He's biting down harder. That's not working. That's not working. Get the alcohol. Oh, ah. Ah. To lift him up and get him into the water is going to be extremely painful. Um, I want to go straight to the straight to the rubbing alcohol. Yeah. Now you can see the way that his jaws have scissored into my hand. The beak has pierced through the skin. Oh my gosh, that hurts so bad. You ready? He's got the back side of my hand. Yep, go ahead, just kind of dump some into his into his mouth there. This is crazy. Real light, real light. Okay, there he goes. He's trying to get off. He's trying to get off. There he goes. Ah. Uh, oh, wow, he cut major holes in my hand. Okay, Ooh. let me dip him in the water to get that rubbing oh, alcohol yeah. off. There you go, little buddy. Oh my goodness. Ah. I'm really nervous. Uh, uh. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, oh man, he bit right there and slid off to the side. Oh man. Ah. Oh, that hurt. Ah, hold on a second. It's almost like his mouth wasn't big enough to reach around and bite onto me. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna just get this piece of wood off. There's the bite right there, you see that? Ooh. Oh my goodness, ah. oh, it's torn. Wow. Uh, well, the water 
actually just caused the turtle to bite down harder. It wasn't until we got the rubbing alcohol into- It's like the water gave the turtle a little drink. <laughs> a little bit of replenishment so it could like bite down more. To its mouth that it actually would let go. Now you can see where the jaws scissored through my skin. Wow, and the crushing power was insane. I honestly thought the water was gonna work and I thought I'd be able to get it back into that container of water to dunk it underwater. Only in an emergency situation where you didn't have rubbing alcohol would you want to do that. Did the dowel rod, dowel rod was ineffective. It didn't help at all. <laughs> it missed the dowel rod. It bit to the side. I mean, I guess that's one thing you can't anticipate exactly where a turtle's gonna bite. Oh, ah, uh, I missed the wood. Uh, let's bring the turtle back up. <laughs> Make sure he's okay. Come here, buddy. Why? Why, man? Oh, okay. Yeah, he yeah. He tries to get a Let's go again. Let me hold him up kind of like this. <sighs> well, that was actually a pretty quick chomp and release. Um, I thought I was going to be able to take that pain a little longer than that, guys, but having the turtle locked onto my hand was... <sighs> that was intense. Just imagine what a turtle that weighs 40 or 50 pounds could do. Dude, Definitely would, would break get, your hand. Get down to the bone, take off for sure. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. This guy's a Stay crazy wild. mofo. We'll see you on the next adventure. Fair play though. I've got to take my hat off to him. I know you were all thinking, Coyote, getting bitten by a snapping turtle was totally crazy. I agree. And trust me, it really hurt. Ah, he missed the one. But hopefully me being chomped by what I consider to be a small turtle will serve as a warning to everyone out there watching. Snapping turtles have the potential to be incredibly dangerous. Do not try to catch them. Do not try to pick them up. In fact, if you come across one of these turtles in the wild, simply admire it from a safe distance. Unless the yeah, animal is provoked, twice. there's absolutely no chance you will end up taking a chomp. If you thought being chomped by this turtle looked painful, make sure to go back and watch the time I put my arm into the mouth of the alligator snapping turtle. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Dragon. Oh my god, I mean... Yes, I know he's making money from his YouTube channel, but still, like, it takes a certain mentality to stick your hand in the mouth of something called a snapping turtle, especially when you look at its mouth. You know, when they highlighted the, the sharp edges of the lips of the turtle, I was like, dude, that could really cause some damage. It could, because your hand is soft and fleshy, like, it could easily cause some big ass lacerations in there. Brave dude, very entertaining video. I'm checking out more stuff for sure. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.